session, our session, mathematic session is uh, based on collagen. So this is of software that is uh, inbuilt in Diksha Odin. So I so think uh, all of you have already uh, access to the Diksha Odin. So how can we access this collagen software for mathematics? So as this collagen tool is a two-dimensional geometrical tool. Okay. So how can we use this tool? So we can see that. So first, we first what we learn in this session. So this session is basically based on uh, about the collage. So in the first, we will see what is this collage and how it is available in the uh, dictionary. And after that, we will see what uh, we will learn. Uh, what type of system we required to access the collage and how it is collaborated in Diksha. And then we will discuss what is the purpose of collage, what are the features that makes other um, software, that makes it uh, different from other softwares. So, uh, and then we will discuss how to access the collage and we will uh, the user interface. We will the activities in the user interface for that we will discuss what is the new bar, site, but how it works. So all the things we will discuss in this session. And even the geometry creation we will also do in this session. So you can just uh, uh, work in all the terms and then you can collaborate with us and you can also collaborate your geometrical interpretation, your geometrical entity with us. So now we can start. So I'm starting. What is the collage? So collage is a two-dimensional interactive tool. It is a web application that is basically creating to understand the basic teaching mathematical concepts. And what is the purpose of this collage? So as it is in online, it is an online collaboration. Am I audible, everyone? Can anyone unmute yourself and tell me? Okay. So, what is the Collabgeo? Collabgeo is a two-dimensional interactive web application, basically created for uh, explaining the geometric issue. Why is not clear? Why is not clear? Okay. Now it's clear. Yes, sir. Is it clear to everyone? Break up. Okay, the voice is breaking. And now, sir? Uh, madam, it's audible, but it's like, uh, it's steady. Okay. Now your voice is not audible, ma'am. Okay, okay. It is audible, Mr. but very steady. Um, okay, so I'll just say. Please join us. Not audible, please. Okay. So, uh, in this session, Collab Geo session, basically, we are learning a two dimensional geometrical tool, which is, uh, which is an interactive web application created for uh, teachers, teacher educators, and students. And uh, you can make your own lesson plans here. You can create your own uh, geometrical entity here. You can also share the real time collaborate with your students and your friends. And what is the objective of this collab? The objective of this collab is you can register yourself 
uh, in the basic concepts and you can uh, share with your friends as it is a web application. As it is a web application, so a secure internet connection can also require. And if once when you uh, enter the, once when you access the collab here, then you can work offline also. So, next is what system required to access the collab here. So, first uh, we require the desktop, laptop, tablet, or the mobile phone. Internet uh, connectivity is required. And the next uh, modern web browsers like Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge. So, all these things are required to access the collab genome. So, Next is what is the purpose of Collab Geo? So the main purpose of Collab Geo is to make the lesson plans with the real time interactions. All we all our teachers are mathematics teachers, so you are making the lesson plans, but you are not able to interact with your students. But with the help of Collab Geo, you can interact with your students anytime, any day. Okay, so this is the different platform that they have provided to all the teachers to be in class or beyond the classroom. So first, creating online collaborative two-dimensional geometry. You can create your online geometry and you can create your mathematical tools and you can share with your students also. Next, explain and practice theoretical concepts. Uh, Voice not clear, not understanding. There are other devices at home. Okay. Yes, yes, ma'am. You want to say something? Hello? Is this ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. I am A. Lakshmi Kumari Gupta. Okay, ma'am. You can mute yourself. Uh, I'm a uh, mathematics teacher at uh, yes. Shankarpalli, Telangana. Uh, okay, okay ma'am. Shankar so, District. Okay, so uh, here in this uh, class, in mathematics class, we are discussing the new software, Collagen software. This is in collaboration with the Diksha project. So you can access this Collagen software. Uh, while when you log in into Diksha portal, then you can access this Collagen software free of cost. Okay. So okay, these are the features and these are the purpose of creating collab tools. So first, uh, you can make your own lesson plans with the real-time interactions. And you can also create your online uh, two-dimensional geometry questions. And even you can practice the theoretical concepts and you can also solve your problems. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, you can mute yourself, please. Okay. Because other participants are... And we can uh, understand the basic concepts of two-dimensional geometry and mathematics. And the users can create their uh, two, 2D shapes easily with this plan. Okay. Now next. So these are the main features that you can see in this tool. So you can make your assignments here. As it supports the multi-language, so you can uh, share your window, your, uh, you can share the geometrical window in Hindi language or in the English language. So there is an open and save option. So you can uh, open your uh, geometrical entity anytime in there. You can open in different formats. And uh, you can save in the different formats. And uh, after saving the geometrical entity, you can share the geometrical entity with the others also. As you can see, so this is the main feature that makes with this polar, this polar geo software too different from other softwares. Yes. So what is this analysis? Collab Geo is in collaboration with Diction. So as it is an integration of Collab Geo, an innovative online two-dimensional geometrical tool, so it makes your Diction as a significant advancement in the digital education. So Diction, we all know that Diction is working towards the digital, digital education. They all are talking about the digital, uh, digital initiatives and digital, digital education platforms. So this is a digital education platform that we are enhancing in our uh, mathematical textbooks that you can um, see in the right corner. There is a tool, use geometrical tool there, and you can access inside there from there. So teachers, educators, 
gain the ability to create the dynamic geometrical diagrams, can create you know, dynamic geometrical diagrams, and even you can enhance a lot of teaching materials and visualize the concepts to the students. And to students, what are the benefits for the students? Students can take the benefit for the interactive learning experience. It is a software that you can make your mathematics lesson plans, mathematics geometrical entity, to make that interesting. Okay. And even you can also explore the various geometrical concepts at the end. So, what is this integration of Collab Geo Dictionary? So, basically, it enhances the educational landscape and it provides a collaborative and interactive tool to students and the students, teachers, and each educators. So, we will also do the demonstration in the sessions. So, how to navigate and how we can reach to this uh, Collab Geo platform? So for this, uh, you have to uh, log in into Diksha. I know for all have already uh, used the Diksha platform. So anybody using the Diksha platform can use your hand and unmute yourself. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm changing my device. Just give a minute. Can you hear me, madam? What is your name, sir? Uh, my name is wrongly entered in uh, mathematics group, madam. I want to okay. join the geography rooms, madam. Okay, sir, you can leave this room also. Okay, madam. Okay. So, uh, so I'm starting in the uh, okay. So I'm starting from the first slide. So, what is this uh, collab geo? Okay, so in this session, we will discuss what is the what system required, what system required to access the collab geo, and what is the collaboration of uh, Diksha with collab geo, and the purpose of collab geo, and after that, uh, what feature they are giving us to access the geometrical, to access the two dimensional geometrical tool, and uh, after that, we will discuss how to access the collab geo, and we will also discuss in hands on practice to. Uh, uh, use uh, how to how we can use this uh, interface 
and in the interface, we can also discuss what the other features are provided for the menu bar in the menu bar and also in the side menu bar. And after that, we will create our own uh, geometrical creation and we will collaborate with each other. And we will also discuss uh, what uh, type of geometrical entity are created by everyone. And in the last, we can also see the accessibility feature from where we can also access this collab geo software. I hope it is clear to everyone as how my voice is perfectly audible. Can anyone uh, unmute yourself and tell me? Okay, madam. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thank okay, you so much. So now in the introduction part, we will see that what is this uh, collab chase? So basically, collab chase is a two-dimensional geometry pattern to make your lesson plans for the real-time collaborations. And it is a platform uh, that the user will be able. So this is a platform in which the user will be able to draw the uh, two-dimensional geometry on the browsers, and they can also run on their desktops and the mobile phones. And in this uh, Collab Geo, we will uh, learn the Collab Geo 1.0 version and uh, the other versions will also come. So first, it is a very uh, basic version, which is a Collab Geo 1.0. Yes, ma'am? Ma'am, uh, I think uh, your voice like a, a bit echoing. So it's not clear. Clarity is a little less. A bit echoing type. Okay, actually other sessions are also going in this room. So okay. maybe my voice, yes, ma'am. So okay. I'm trying my best and I'm also giving my best voice. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you for your cooperation. So we are discussing about the collab chain. So in collab geo, it is a as we can now see that it is a creative online collaborative and dimensional geometry and mathematical tool. So it basically has the teachers, tutors, and the students. So that they can even name the lesson plans, which they can interact with the teachers, and they can even also interact with their peer groups also. And what is the main objective of this platform? You can register in the Diksha platform, and you can also register your basic concepts. And uh, after register, uh, after registering, you can share your geometrical entity with your friends. As it is a web application, so. It is a secure internet connection. So once when you access this browser, you can also work offline. And you can also work offline and you can also create your geometrical entity offline. Okay. So next, what system we require to access the collab geo? We require the uh, desktop, laptop, and uh, we can see that uh, many participants uh, uh, have uh, already joined from their mobile phones. So they can also work and also use this uh, Lab Geo software in, from their mobile phones. So once uh, when I share the link with the participants, you can join this uh, Lab Geo platforms and you can collaborate with me. Okay. You can see the features one by one. So the mainly internet connectivity is required. And next, uh, basic uh, modern web browsers, so which you can like by uh, the Google Chrome or the Firefox. So the purpose of Collab Geos, uh, it makes your lesson plans uh, with real-time interactions. You can interact with your students. You can create your own uh, online uh, two-dimensional geometrical tool. And you can also make your the practice lesson plans. You can make your practice of uh, digital concepts. Uh, solve the problems, solve the mathematical problems easily. So whatever you have imagined, uh, all the things in the classroom or uh, regarding mathematical concepts, you can even explain with the help of this geo software. And what users will be able to do in this things is uh, they can also uh, they can also share uh, with their browsers and uh, they can uh, sell it uh, with the mobile phones also. So, what features that makes this collaborative feature uh, collaborative software from other software? First, is you can make the science, and it is a multi language support. So, it can in the language. You can you know, change your window uh, in Hindi and also in English. And there's an open and save option. And the last one, the main. Uh, which is a highlight of the software that is in collaboration. So Hello. you can collab. Yes, ma'am. 
ma'am uh, some additional voice is adding ma'am i think you have bended the wire that's the reason it's creating some more noise i don't know but yeah. it is now it's fine not clear no ma'am still it, it is there. no i think the no? cable is torn or something i don't know but there is some noise okay the noise is coming from my background today's today's session yeah. it's not background noise ma'am it is a noise generating from the device what you are using okay My voice is clear. Hello. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm doing my best to make my voice clear. I hope uh, I can uh, recover all your losses and uh, I will uh, clear all your doubts on time. So please uh, have patience and uh, I will give you the best. Uh, I'll give you my best. Okay. And you will definitely learn something and you will also uh, give your uh, best to the students after uh, completing this training session. Okay. So as uh, we have seen, already seen the various features of the Collab Geo, the first is the assignment and it is a multi-language support. So you can uh, show the, you can uh, uh, show the windows to the students and uh, also the teachers can access the windows in language, uh, Hindi and English language. And even uh, you can, uh, sorry. You can uh, save your file and uh, you can collaborate with the students and the teachers. So next uh, we will discuss how Diksha is with the Collab Genome. Is anyone uh, using Diksha platform? Can anyone unmute yourself and tell me about, uh, are you using the Diksha platform? To anyone who is uh, using Diksha platform? Nobody is using Diksha platform? Hello? Okay. So, Yes, ma'am, we are using. Okay, you are using. Sir. Yes. Okay, yes, thank you. So, as you have uh, seen, uh, and you have also access uh, the class six mathematics books. So, when you open this mathematics books, so then you will see that uh, in the right corner, you will see uh, the use the geometrical tools. So, in the right, when you click on the use geometrical tool, you can dash for collage software. So what is the role of this collage and Diksha? Actually, uh, the Diksha platform is a very innovative and uh, we all want the advancement in the digital education. So to make our digital, to make the advancement in digital education, we are collaborating with the NIC, uh, which are uh, uh, providing us the collage platform and it is an innovative online to be geometrical to me. So that teachers can easily access this tool and they don't need any login ID and they don't need to uh, open any way to plan on the collage. They can easily open this tool with the help of using geometrical tool. Then why when they are using uh, the mathematical uh, class 6 textbook or so it is available from class 6 to class 12. So this collaboration empowers the educators and students to use the collage more and more, and they can also make their interactive features 
so that uh, they can uh, directly learn on the Diksha that is basically known for knowledge sharing. And teachers, educators can also gain the ability to create their dynamic geometrical diagrams. They can uh, uh, they can also elaborate the various mathematical problems that are not easy to understand, that are not easy to deliver in the classroom, but they can use this tool and they can easily explain any mathematical concept with the help of enabling them to explore the various geometric concepts. Students can learn a concept very easy and this integration may also enhance the educational landscape by providing them collaboration and interactivity that makes the yeah. proper learning of mathematical concepts. Yes. So next, uh, how to navigate this? So as we have already used the Diksha platform, so you can see that there is an option of Explore Diksha. So once when you uh, click on Explore Diksha, you will see that there is an option of Digital Textbook here. So once when you click on Digital Textbook in the left hand side, you will see that in the left corner. So there are, uh, these are the details that you have to uh, type for uh, finding out the any mathematics and textbook. So once when you uh, type all the details, then you will uh, plan it. So I'm having one video also. So you can see that. Okay, I will uh, show you after this slide. Okay, so after uh, landing on, after clicking all the details, then you can just land on this uh, mathematical class 6 textbook. So in here, you can see that in the right hand side, use geometrical tool. So once when you click on this use geometry tool, you will just land on Collab Geo platform. Okay. So this is the user interface of Collab Geo. Uh, in the right hand side, you can see that this is the side menu toolbar. And in the top, you can see this is the title bar. And uh, in the, this is the shortcut keys that you can use it. And uh, in the left hand side, bottom corner, you can see that these are the uh, instructions when you are using one particular feature. So these are the instructions how you can put any point, nine segment, circle, rectangle. So these are the instructions that will be given by one by one when you click on the button. Okay, please, un uh, please mute yourself. Please, please mute yourself. Uh, you can open your file, existing file, you can open it in different formats and there is a save option, import option, export, print, editing. Uh, in editing, you can select the uh, your geometrical entity and you can also delete it. In the view, there is a title and tool bar and uh, in the right hand side, when you click on this setting, the circular button, there is an option of grid, font, family, zone and language. So here you can uh, change the language and uh, there is a help button also that gives you the user guide and the web guide. You can download the user guide and after downloading the user guide, you can easily access the Collab Geo software. In the side toolbar, you can see that what features they are providing it. They are providing uh, we can draw a point, we can draw a midpoint, we can draw the rectangles, we can draw different polygons line segments, different types of lines, circle, ellipse, and we can also make the measurements. You uh, draw uh, any sort of geometrical entity, and if you want to measure, then you can click on this measure. Okay. What geometrical creations? Uh, in the point, we can draw point, midpoint. And in the line, we can draw with various types of line, like a line segment, color ray, infinite line, so what, what is the different feature that uh, in the miscellaneous you can see that there is an option of sketch and then and add text. So if you want to add your text uh, in the geometric entity, you can also add it. You can uh, also measure the length, radius, area, and perimeter of the given geometrical part. 
So what is this real-time collaboration? A real-time collaboration is basically that, uh, this feature allows the user to connect to the Collage 1.0 application so that they can share uh, their online session, online geometrical identity uh, with the users by connecting to the collaboration URL link. And this URL link will be provided in this window. You can see that. So this is the Invoke Collaboration icon. So you can collab, uh, you can share your uh, for reader link with the friends. You can share with the help of email. Okay. So this is a uh, visual in the demonstration part. Uh, this is the different geometrical colors that makes uh, that other users are also uh, using this platform. You can see that in the left hand side, this is the entity that created by the first user. And in a different color, you are uh, you can see that this is the entity created by second user. So at the time, we can select uh, around 50 students with us, and they can create their own entity. And they can also uh, understand, you can also deliver your lessons, or you can also deliver any setting the students with the help of this collaborative geometry. So, the other uh, it's necessity that uh, which is available, you can uh, are able to connect to uh, the picture. You can also uh, connect this URL. This is the open URL. And you have to just type collab you uh, in the browser and you will land on this window. These are the things. Okay. You do respect a request to change your voice. Please. Okay. Okay, so not audible. Now, we my audible. Am I audible too? Take it back. So, this is, uh, so these are the examples of activities that we can create uh, through collection. We can create the right triangle and the various class 6, class 7 topics. You can explain the uh, circle with the known radius. And you can also explain the concept area of triangle, complementary angles. Uh, supplementary angles and in the class eight, the um, very important topic uh, is uh, classification of uh, polygons. So you can understand this concept uh, through collage. You uh, can create the diagonals and uh, you can create the reg uh, regular and irregular polygons area of coordinate. You can find it with the help of this collage. And in the class nine, you can use in various topics like circles if you want to explain the circle properties here. So then you can make your circle and then after that you can explain all the properties of circle and uh, coordinate if you want to draw a tension here you want to find out the very and of the circle. So these are the examples that you can draw or you can explain to your students. So now we are going for demonstration. Okay. I hope uh, everyone has uh, uh, join the collab geo software and then also you can uh, use this collab geo uh, uh, by just type uh, on your phone also on your desktop just type collab geo and directly you uh, are on the collab geo software in doubt how to access the collab geo each construction of fingers yes sir you can uh, uh, make the constructions, uh, but uh, you have to explain everything. Uh, I just uh, taking you can mark the angles, you can mark, the, you can measure the line segments. These are the topics that you can cover with Collage. Going to Collage window. Okay, so I'm stop sharing my screen. Going to Collage window. So you all can see this is the uh, picture platform and I have 
very open test and very high class six test to and uh, this you can see that in the right hand side uh, we are uh, you can see that this is a geometrical tool means geometric tool so i'm clicking on that also so this is the collage software i hope uh, there is no doubt uh, to access how we can reach to collage can anyone have to accept to uh, that uh, have already accessed this collage platform can anyone have to pass it yes can anyone who is already landing on this it's similar to yes, sir. It's similar to GeoTechno, but what feature that uh, makes it uh, different from uh, GeoTechno? The main feature is the collaboration, sir. You can collaborate with your students and other teachers. Okay. So I hope uh, everyone has yeah. access to this collage. Okay. So I'm going to explain uh, all the features of this collage. Software. So first, uh, we can see that then, uh, open option. I will say that add image. If you want to and uh, already downloaded image, then you can add a image here. It explains the concept. So in the open file, uh, we have a feature that uh, basically read the different formats. And uh, this is a feature that uh, the users to select the CG file from the system. You can open in the collection 1.0, which is in the existing CJG file. And also, user will click on shows and then the browser file system for CJG files. And in the same as option, you can see that uh, you can save in CJG file format, SVG file format, PNG file format. So these are the different formats that we have this software. And uh, add image, you can add your, uh, any image that I have Excuse already. Excuse me, madam. Yes, ma'am. Madam, your voice is not uh, clearly audible. Okay. Now it's audible. No, ma'am, it's breaking. It's breaking. Is it breaking to, for everyone or maybe some network issues? From your side, Sound not clear, ma'am. Hello, now is it okay to everyone? Am I audible? I'm already using uh, earphones. Scratching, still scratching. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you so much. So that we have already discussed uh, what features they are providing in the file option. So we can add an image. So I have already downloaded one picture here. So as the sharing like uh, I want to upload my picture here. So this is enter the height and the width of an image. So you can uh, give your own height and width. When I'm taking this to 78 on the width of six. So this is the picture that you can put it here. And there is an option on import. So you can import the image by saving your file. And the, the print option is also there. So go to that edit option. In the edit option, we have one three other can feature here also that you can see the entity here. You can modify if you want to modify this image, then make an option. That you can change the uh, color of the image. Like if I want to draw a circle, I'm clicking on the circle. 
for this environment to be on the server. And if I want to modify it, then I will click on this geometrical entity. And then uh, what features and what things will appear. And we can play the color here. We can play the different colors. And so capacity we can change capacity line color we can change okay so different uh, modify options are there and after modify if you want to delete it you automatically enter it you can also delete we have uh, there is a view uh, in view uh, we have cycle and toolbar in the title you can see there are lots of options in the toolbar there we can also have a uh, vision uh, directly uh, for the point that we put the line segments, circles, polylines, so on we can have it. In the help box, you can see there's a user guide. Uh, if you when you click on user guide, so there is on downloading option. So I've already downloaded it. So this is the user guide. That uh, in the user guide you can see all the features and the requirements. But they are uh, giving us what features they are providing us and how we can exit the real time for our patient. So, all features are given us. Okay, so this is the user guide. Okay, now uh, next. There is a web guide also. Uh, if you know the picture about your okay. interface uh, to the head in this, and this is the graphics mm -hmm. way, but what options mm -hmm. is short mm -hmm. items is in the description in the video. So these are the pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, now when you click on this uh, return to section, you can map and which option so now we are the creating our own collage of what is Writing topic here. I'm writing circle. What I can write uh, in the area of to call rectangle. If I use create it, you can also enter it once. Place on this screen. Then we have the shortcut keys on the left hand side. This is a weekend put it here. A point if you want to click on point is before uh, starting with all the filters. I'm going to explain you what filters in the right hand yeah. side here. So all the symmetrical entities would be erased from canvas here. Right? Before yeah. option, yeah, if you want back your all the images and you can be on the option in the digital option also so in the settings so you can change the height of this so when you click on the height bit there's an particular size will be high so when you click on the show bit all the pixels are the size so in the height of the size will be so in the font family, you can change the font of the uh, font of the geometrical uh, entity. And in the zoom, you can uh, zoom in or zoom out the geometrical entity. So like, there is a feature which manipulates the canvas, so it has to make it in large and uh, possibly in more detailed form. And for the zoom out, uh, you will get your uh, yes. manipulate canvas. In the, you can make it smaller and possibly in the less detailed form. So we can also reset the zoom on. If there is a language, you can change your window head. So if I'm uh, clicking on this Hindi, then I can change my whole window into Hindi. So we can see that there is a Sanyogi Jamati occurring. I, all options will be will come up in Hindi. File Sampadit Kare, Zrishya, Sahayata. So all features will be, so we can uh, see in Hindi text. So I'm changing into English. Okay. So now uh, we are uh, accessing all the pages for the moment. So first picture is point. If you want to plot a point, just click on the canvas window. This is the canvas window. You can see this is a 2D canvas window. 
midpoint you can see in the left uh, bottom corner we, uh, there is an option there is an instruction like if you want to create a midpoint so, so first you have to click on two points i'm clicking two points after that if i can find out the midpoint okay so for the midpoint is clicking now i'm clicking on midpoint so this is the midpoint here so for the line segments if you want to do a line seg segment so first click on the two points on the canvas to create a segment we will create a line segment so you can mark the length i'm marking length as 8 and angle I am taking 45 degrees. So you can create a color here. Okay. Uh, next is a ray. You can create a ray here. Just click a point here and then you can draw the thing. Okay. Uh, click the starting and then click point, then you can create a midpoint. So, this is the feature of create a polyline. If you want to stop this polyline, then you have to click on enter. So, when you click on enter, then the polylines will be stopped. Now, if you want to create a panel lines, so for the panel lines, select the line and you're going to create a panel line. So I'm selecting a line and the point so I can easily draw the panel. If you want to draw perpendicular, for the perpendicular there is an instruction, select a line and a point made a filling. So I'm selecting this line and it's point where I can mark this perpendicular. So I want to look here. So this is very uh, you can mark it. If you want to draw a perpendicular by sector of any particular line section, so first you can just draw a line segment and after that you can set up a pendicular bicep. So I'm clearing my window as uh, I want to show some more features for circle. So I'm clearing my window. So next uh, if you want to draw a center when a point on the circumference, so just clicking it and just drag it and what type of circle you want to draw then you can stop here. And this is the circle. And you can mark the radius here. If you want to draw a circle with particular radius, then just type the number. And then we can draw the circle in radius. And if you want to measure the radius of this particular circle, so we will click on radius. What is the radius? Radius is 50. Okay. And if you want to find out the area of the circle, just click on the entity. You can find out the area is 371.02. If you want to find out the circumference, just click on the entity. Circumference is 8.28. So all the length you can measure here. The circle, if you want to draw the semicircle, then you can also draw here. This is the semicircle. So you can also explain sectors here. So these are the sectors that you can explain. So you can find out the area of this sector. If you want to find out the area, it's and we will find out the area. Perimeter 30.86. Similarly, you can find out the area. Next is rectangle. If you want to draw the rectangle uh, with the center, so this is the center of the rectangle, that's the midpoint of the triangle. Endpoints of the rectangle. Right. I want to draw a rectangle like this with the center. Just put it the length and the breadth. This is a rectangle. If you want to draw a square, 
any project of square. I want to draw a square that is in the links. Just clicking on it and then hit the square. Now, next is ellipse. So, ellipse will center. You can draw the ellipse here. In the miscellaneous, if you want to draw a sketch, then you can sketch. This is again the sketch feature. And then if you want to measure any angle, then you have to click on the key point and you will get the angle. So like in this sector, we have angle 58.52 degree in your uh, city sector that we can find out the angle. And then text, if you want to add text in the entity, just click it on it. Like just in the circle. I will type circle here. You know? So the text will be shown here. So these are the features, but the most important feature that we have not discussed here. This is a real time collaboration. So how we can collaborate? So everything is listened carefully. So in the left corner, there is a green button that shows the collaborate. So once we are clicking on this collaborate, there is a window um, which showing the URL for the collaboration. So in this window, we can see the link here. Once when you copy this link, you can share in uh, this link via mail. Okay, does anybody want to collaborate with none? Can anyone? To share your email ID. Can anyone share your email ID in the chat box? Can you check by unmuting yourself? Is anyone? Please uh, share. Yes, I got my yes. Okay, so I'm copying this email ID. Uh, this is from Tamil Nadu. S. Lakshmi from Tamil Nadu. Just a wait. We will collaborate with each one. Okay. So I'm adding. So I can share this uh, link, collaborating link in the chat box. So I'm sharing. So all you can join with this link also. So everyone can join this collab to dot NVC dot in. Yes, everyone. So once when we're going to uh, join, then we can see that the number of participants in the right hand side will be increased. Yes, I can see that the uh, number of users, how many number of users are there connecting for collaboration. So seven users are already connected. I think uh, you can also see the same window in your mobile phone or in the desktop. You can create your own entity and discuss with us also. So anyone can unmute yourself and join it. Yes. yes, I can see that there is a color. Yes, we got a purple color. It means you are using this window. Color shows the different uh, users in the same geometrical entity. Can anyone unmute yourself and tell me what happened is on? I hope this feature you can enjoy. And you can also share with your students that they can create their own genetic identity here and discuss with your discuss uh, with you during the real time. So I have erased my entity and I can see the entity that created by you. Yes. 
Can anyone unmute yourself, please? Tell us, please, you want to find it. Anyone from you? Anyone from the participant? Hello, madam. So, sir, are you able to uh, use this collaboration? Ah. Okay, that's good, sir. Into the. Is it interesting? In the matter, do not. Hello. Anyone other who want to share with us what feature it is uh, they are using in this collaboration platform? Good afternoon, madam, from Telangana, Ramesh Bandari. Yes. So, same sir. features are there, Desmos and as well as the GeoGebra. Yes, sir. We same used features, sir. Ah, We are using that. We are okay. using, still as we are using. Okay. In, the, in Diksha platform, we developed a, with a CRT Telangana digital lessons. In that, we are uh, incorporated the GeoGebra tools. So, Presently, we are listening this newly. Yes, sir. So this is the uh, platform. This is the online digital education that provided by the teacher. So we can use this platform for the teachers. Oh, nice, yes. nice to hear, madam. Yes, sir. Nice to hear. We are, we are developing independently. Okay. So it's a good, yes, sir, good going, madam. Yes, sir. So this is a very easy platform. Like, uh, is very difficult to access, but this collab, everything is accessible. Even you can collab. Uh, is it? Collab with, yes, sir. Open yes, source, sir. madam. It is open. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is an open source. Okay, okay. Thank you, madam. Any other wants to ask some questions? They can unmute themselves. Anyone else? Ma'am, I have a doubt uh, yes, regarding this. Uh, can yes, we have? Can we download and we can use in an offline mode? Uh, Ma'am, first, uh, when you will, uh, first you need the browser to access the collateral. So once we see that on the collateral, we can access uh, this window in offline mode. Okay, and you can download the your geometric which I will be assuming also. Ah, but the point is what we can only use the images what we have already created, isn't it? If I'm yes, understanding right. Yes. Uh, but suppose if I want to use this in the classroom on an offline mode, where I want to show all this demonstration, like how to do it, various angles or the colors, so to make the students easy to understand without the internet connection, is it possible? It's not possible. Uh, you can create a one lesson plan version in the classroom that you can play uh, you can create your own video uh, like uh, you can uh, use this collage uh, the instructions to students by making one video in the classroom and you can show in the classroom like you can access from there and we will discuss the same topic in this video okay thank you ma'am anyone else Anyone else that they will find us the uh, large room? Uh, These are unusual people coming in the middle. You can ask. Yeah. So we can see that even find this and join this uh, collaboration. And we have done this uh, work here. Yeah. And we can see that a lot of uh, sectors and the uh, Circles that are good and are drawn there, circles, meters, triangles, and there. So, various things are done. Yes, testing. So, when is the line? We have testing. So, then, ma'am, I would like to be questioned. Please, I'm going to say, tell us what features uh, that we have learned here. Has it done here testing? I want that participate. I need to pursue. I'm testing. I have written, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Please, sir. 
I'm just checking randomly like how to go about it because basically I'm a computer science teacher okay. but I have just forwarded this content to my math teacher so before that I just want to explore like what is the role of the text the various points how to drag it and drop it just now what you have demonstrated okay. so randomly I checked it yeah it's quite, it's quite it's quite interactive and it's very comfortable to draw the uh, app picture in a, with the proper scaling Yes, ma'am. Very nice. Madam, is it possible to do constructions? So you can draw the constructions, but... Uh, Geometrical constructions. Yes, sir. But uh, it will be difficult to explain it here. Uh, I think uh, the construction uh, topic we can discuss, uh, we can explain it uh, with the help of GeoGebra. Uh, yeah. uh, from GeoGebra, you can explain the construction. Anyone else? Ma'am, can you explain the down there is one more tab called measure in which there okay. is a scale and other things are there. How to utilize those features? Okay. So I'm cleaning this window and I'm explaining uh, what features they are giving in the measure. So here I'm drawing a circle. So I have drawn a circle here. So if I want to measure a length, then I will click on this geometrical entity. A length is for basically for the line segment. Okay. If I have, you have drawn a line segment here, like a drawn line segment. If I want to measure the length of this line segment, then I will click on length. And then after that, I will click on this line segment. In the second part, if you want to find out the radius of the circles, then you will click make first we will click on radius and after that we will click on the geometrical entity and uh, we will get the radius of the circle. In third, there is an option of area. If you want to find out the area of the circle, then we will click on entity first and then we will get A. And the perimeter. So different uh, rectangles, the diagonals, rectangle, you draw this rectangle. If you want to measure the length of the each side, then you can click on it. And when we get the length in the width, if you want to find out the area of this figure, then you will get the area of the length. Very little, very little, very little, very little, very little, very little, very little. I hope it is clear to you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It's very nice. Thank you. Anyone else? Take care. Hello, madam. Yes, sir. Uh, see, uh, we don't find any interactive compass in this particular software. So, will it be possible to update in the near future? So that we were talking about construction of angles. Now, in construction yeah, of so... angles, we require interactive compass. So, those uh, company or uh, whoever is developing this software, as it is collaborated with uh, NCRT, so. If possible, in the near future, if we can develop yes, uh, interactive yes, and we can also mm. provide your suggestion to the mm. NIC organization that have, have built this uh, mm. software. This is the first basic notion. Okay, okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. And we will put your suggestion to the team also. Okay. So we can uh, add a suggestion, like we can. Any other doubts? I hope everyone. So, explain all the features. So, Excuse me, madam. Yes, sir. 
Miss, uh, madam, please explain once again that how we will get radius, circumference, okay. perimeter, length, breadth. Okay, sir. So again, I'm explaining. So first, you have to draw the circle. Okay. So I'm drawing the line segment. This is the line segment I have drawn. Okay. So once when I click on length, then I can get the length of this line segment. So what we get? We get the length of this line segment as 22.40. So if you want to find out the next radius, if you want to find want to find the radius of this particular circle, then you will click on this entity. First, you will click on this entity. Your uh, arrow will be on entity and you will get the radius. Next is area. If you want to find out the area, then you have to click on the entity. Then you will get the perimeter. Same steps will be there. Thank you. I hope it is clear to you. Thank you, madam. Thank you. Uh, uh, yes, from West Bengal, Saurav Chattabharti, sir. Can you unmute yourself? Yes, sir. From the West Bengal, Saurav Chattabharti, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, sir. Sir, uh, you can. I have already shared uh, this uh, email, uh, so this uh, link in the chat box. Uh, so you can join this call uh, with okay. the help of the link. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Ma'am, here, uh, once we draw up a shape or a line or a anyway, uh, what do you call them? Uh, yeah, possible. geometrical, yes. Is it uh, possible to resize yeah. it like if I draw a line with a certain length? If I want to reduce it or to resize it, is it possible? That is not uh, possible. Uh, not, uh, we can resize it, but we can modify. Uh, in the top, you can see there is a feature of modify. So when you click uh, and you click on your entity, there is a modification option. So very limited options are there. You can change the line style. Okay. Uh, like you can use this dotted line, you can use this dark line, and but I so, cannot change the uh, what you call radius of the circle. I cannot yes. change the radius, like yes, ma'am. You cannot it. change the radius. Uh -huh, that's what that image is static. I can only change the appearance part of it, isn't it? Hello, am I audible, ma'am? Because you are not audible to me. Hello. 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 Yeah. Hello. Yes. Am I audible now? Yes, ma'am. Ma you are audible. Me, yeah. You mean to say that I, we can only change the appearance of the image, but we cannot uh, resize the image. Yes, right? ma'am. We cannot resize. Oh, thank you. Anyone else? That you want to. Once the agent cannot take service, and uh, we can also watch uh, more any animation here. Yeah. So, there is a very limited option because there is a very basic version for that thing. So, in other versions, we can see all the features that we are also getting in situation because this is a very interesting uh, topic. So, once when we uh, are able to get the situations from your side, so we can add the more features there. In the next session and in the next training, we will be using all the features of the OS to back to Yes, uh, there is no slider like uh, in, this, uh, in the in the we have a slider option, but uh, there is no slider option in the open <coughs> options. Anyone else that want to ask something? And geometrical entity, and can explain what the, that we have drawn here. Okay, I'm in for here this window. So, anyone from your side, I uh, can create a one geometrical entity here to explain this. Uh, and explain to everyone. Um, I'm trying to request one of the participants create one geometrical entity here. 
um, they can also explain what features they have used to create that particular geometrical engine. So, so I would like to request anyone from participants. Very one more They can explain in the classroom by using this Bilagia geometrical tool. They can explain this, this issue also. Anyone from Manipur? Pradeep Kumar, sir. Pradeep Kumar from Manipur. Hello. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, have you explained the chat? Uh, actually, your voice is cracking, so it's difficult for me to understand what you are saying, actually, ma'am. Yeah. So, are you able to use this collaboration? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I have already tried. I It is uh, still open in my uh, tablet. Okay. So, what uh, difficulties are you facing? As of now, uh, not much difficulty is there. As you have okay. told, these are quite easy tools to be used. Okay. And as I have said before, suggested before, if we can incorporate this interactive okay. compass in this software, then that would be better for us to teach in construction. Other than that, all the tools are user-friendly, I think. So we have to explore more as of now. It's just a beginning. Yes, sir. this is a big thing. And if you are already exploring the geo developer, then, uh, then you will find that this is a very easy platform. Uh, Actually, uh, I use this uh, math pad, one more uh, interactive tool, which is UK best software. Actually, it's open source. Okay. So there I find this interactive compass. I have used this several times. That's why I was asking about interactive compass. But the features uh, they are providing us, uh, like uh, as in it is a collaborating geometrical tool. So you can collaborate with others also. So this is the main uh, okay. feature that they are providing us that makes okay. okay. different okay. from other platforms. Mm -hmm. Yes. So mm -hmm. as it is an Indian uh, tool, like Julia Brown Yes, yes, Exciting, yes. yes. It's an Indian guy. Yeah, yeah. Us. So any entity that you want to create with us and share with us? Like, uh, we have to explore Anyone? more. So after exploring Amen. all the tools. I got uh, one participant. Yes, sir. Ma'am, please uh, explain how to manage, explain again how to measure the circumference perimeter. Uh, circumference. So first, uh, this is a triangle. Okay, so if you want to measure first length, see, so length. Okay, so we will get the length, and if you want to vary the increase, of that, so we will click on the entity. And we will get the perimeter. I okay. This case. And and the circumference and radius. So circumference on the perimeter is the same, sir. And uh, circumference uh, basically for the circle and basically the for the circle. Yes. Circle. Okay. Circumference of the circle. So, so the circle. 
and for the circumference, they are using the perimeter. Okay, you can use the perimeter option. Okay, so okay. Okay. I'm using the perimeter option. Now you take on this to the same, you can integrate the circle. And the circumference will come up. The circumference is 68.66. And radius from dancing then. If you want to find out the radius, then click on radius. Okay. Yes. Okay, ma'am. I you. think, sir, you are drawing. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Can you bring out? Please explain the angle. Okay. How to measure the radius of the So, for the angle, like if I want to draw. So in the miscellaneous, there is an option of angle. So for the angle, we will take the three points on the canvas to compute the angle. So three points, one, two, three, and three. So we will get the angle. Theta is equals to 68.97. So when we pick one from the order by is equals by new. So first, second, third. You get the second angle. So similarly, you can find all the angles. Once it out from the kind of answer, Vanaf Janakshmi, Vanaj, Vanajakshi, yes, ma'am, can you find which I say? Thank you, ma'am. Okay. So, ma'am, uh, have you drawn any any geometrical entity? Madam, is yes. it work? Is it play by animation? Yes, sir. There is no animation. Just you can add the image. You can add any image here. Yeah. Okay. This is an image. So you can add your image. You can add any type of image here. So very limited options. So I hope you have also uh, 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 explored the user guide, web guide, about the collateral. I think it is under construction. What, sir? Yeah. Under <laughs> construction. Sir, so teachers, sir, they have launched the uh, tool. So once when they get the suggestions, what, uh, we have, what they need to add in, they can add it. And they are also working for the next version. Madam, yes. any other yes, apps uh, for mathematics? The physics session we can also some Excuse me, madam. Yes, ma'am. Any other apps, madam, for mathematics? And Gia Gibra. There is a RoboCompass. Ro RoboCompass is for constructions. Desmos is another ma mathematical uh, tool, app. They are working on uh, offline mode also. Okay, that offline, sir. Uh, RoboCompass is exclusively an uh, online mode with uh, Gmail account. The GeoGebra and the Desmos, they will work on uh, offline mode also. This session was based on the which I have done in the three dimension of the system. This is the This software is and more features. So, ma'am, can we explain how to draw a polygon? So, Sudipta from the West Bengal. And Sudipta, ma'am. So, Dipta, ma'am, 
Yes, that's a relation. So, Sam, can you please explain how to draw a polygon? Okay. Now, now then, uh, we take on this polygon. So, these are the triangle uh, polygon internal excellent of the creatures. So, now the other like if you want to draw a polygon, then you can take the length of the side and then the operation. Length of the side, two beauty, and the rotation is six and two. Then we will get the pentagon. Okay, so and we can also draw the hexagon as a polygon. This is a this is the irregular polygon that we can use when you click on the polygon button. So, this, this contains this line, you have to click on enter. Then this line will disappear. I think I have taken all the dots. Thank you. 